This review is about Now You See Him by Eli Gottlieb. Eli Gottlieb is a fantastic writer. He's a fantastic storyteller. The story starts out very, very well. It's interesting. You're hooked. You want to see what happens. And then it, gets, it just strays. It goes off track. The narrator is a guy named Nick, who was friends with this guy named Rob Caster, who was an author. Rob Caster becomes famous when he writes his book of short stories and becomes even more famous when he kills his girlfriend and then himself. That's what, how the book begins. It's interesting. However, Nick, between two guys, Nick has this fascination slash adoration of, of Rob that just goes a little beyond the, 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 the normal male thing. You know, you're, you kind of wonder if Nick has the fever for the flavor of Rob's Pringles and if there is going to be gay sex sooner or later in this book. I didn't read it that far to find out. What saves the book is that Eli Gottlieb is, is a fantastic writer, a great storyteller, but is he great enough to pull off straying the way he does in this story? You, you hear more about Nick than you do about Rob after a while, and Nick is boring. Who gives a shit about Nick? I don't, but I wouldn't say give it a miss. I would say check it out if you, if you have nothing better to do, but... He is a great writer and he's a great storyteller. Definitely put his name on a list to be looked at later because he is that good. However, the story lacks. It's, it's, it's a smaller book too. It's not the regular size book. And uh, there's not that many pages in it as opposed to, I think there's only like 240 some pages as opposed to the normal 300. It's a smaller book. And what it is is probably just like a short a short story on steroids at this point. It's like a novelette is what it is. It won't take you long to read it. But um, I don't know. It just strays a little too much for me. And it gets kind of boring. Uh, for the point of view purists, Nick is the narrator. And he is, it's written in the first person. But Nick knows a little too much about everything in order for this book to be written in the first person. Um, I would have chosen the omniscient view, which is pretty much what is written in, but somehow he wanted to write it in the first person point of view from Nick's point of view, but just too much is known by Nick in order for it to, to be believable in the first person. So that's another, if it suffers that way, if you're a purist from the point of view standpoint, should you check it out? It's up to you. It's written really well. There aren't these abortions like you see in all these other books with grammar and punctuation. It is good in that respect. The story, however, does suffer.